Hello everyone, this is Ragnar. Now we're wondering where I am. <coughs> I am in the cold pool. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts. But yeah, there are four doubloons here. Yeah, thank you for those who pointed that me out. If ever you did, but I didn't need your help because this is pre-recorded. <clears throat> so yeah, there are two extras that you don't need to uh, complete the level, just in case you miss. But anyways, those are that. There's only one spot when you can find two at the same time. So if you miss that very spot, it's okay. But if you miss any of the other spots, well, it's pretty obvious that you won't have enough to buy everything you need to clear 100% this level. So I'm quickly going to buy the Chito, Chito, Chito page. Yeah, I want it. Yeah, you have a sale. Aye. So yeah, quickly uh, fetching. Let's see some gold. Again, throwing him only one coin. Yay. And we're gonna see the stupid cashier animation. Seems surprised uh, when the cashier opens, but whatever. Okay, so there we got a Cheeto page. We have enough for another Cheeto. Um, Cheeto cheat. Cheeto cheat. Cheeto code. Cheeto something. But yeah, um. Now, let's do what I told I would do next, uh, last episode. And dive in the water of doom. Okay, so let's go in that pit. I'm gonna hear the music change shortly. That music is awesome. It's truly the most awesome thing ever. So those creatures, if you want to fetch what's over it, you freeze them. And then you swim. <laughs> that was stupid. Yeah, water physics will be hard to uh, master. You can expect having some hard time dealing with water. Okay, so we can't do that right now. Let's see. And to get back from that view, you just press... See up. Okay, so we got two choices here. There's a pit over there and there's a niche over there. I think I want to start by the pit. Let's go in the pit. Anyways, all, everything's gonna circle around at some point. Okay, there's the giant octopus. Everything will work with ice eggs. There we go. So yeah, pretty much everything on the water will work with those eggs, if you wonder. Now, I don't feel like going eat some pastrami and things, because look at this place. This place is the reason why I love this level so much. Also the music up there, but mainly that. Look at this. This is... Just awesome, there's nothing more to say. This guy is coming right on us. <laughs> it's a puff fish. So if you want to blow them puff fish, it'd be best so that you don't have them in your way. And I think they do respawn, but I'm not sure. Also, if you're running low on ammo, Come here and pick up whatever you need. And there's there there there. Blah, blah. Then Ness are probably gonna respawn as well. Okay, so I, first of all, I want to find a place in my no, a place in my mind. That was funny. I want to find a little pillar. Yeah. Okay. 
Underwater warp zones. Pretty hard to use, but they're there. Okay, also there's a little thing. We saw the big temple. Uh, I think it's there, is it? Nope, it's not that one. There's a temple. Nope, that's gonna be for later. There are, there's a treble clef. If you wonder. Let's get it right away. Here we are. So I... I'm, ah, there's the big temple. <laughs> okay, so... There are some symbols there. You need to remember those, okay? I'll just quickly note them because I don't have any memory. So we have Omega, P, Delta, and there's uh, something that looks like a Neta, and there's another Omega, and there's Pi or P, whatever. I don't know the pronunciation in English, but in Latin it's pronounced P. And not the P that we're into. Okay, so. See those little mermaid statues down there? Okay, they hold some pots. And on the pots, yeah. There are some symbols, you just want to repeat the pattern. Okay, where is the P? P is there, okay. Let's go for P. Let's go for Eta. No, it's Delta. I'll call it Eta, but it looks more like Sigma. Well, it's a it's a it's a non well drawn Eta or Sigma. <laughs> there, oh my god, and we finish with a P. That would open the door to the big temple. That's sideways for some reason. We are in the lost city of Atlantis, my friends. Let's see our gold. No, I don't, I'm not sure there's gold around. Okay, so. Yet another thing done, we're in the temple of the fishes. So what's to be done here? We are gonna find it down in two seconds. Let's just quickly fetch some ice eggs because I need some. Alright, uh, let's go up there. There's a... Okay, so there's a cage. Okay. He's Chris, and he's got the UK flag on this. Chris P. Bacon. <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Bacon? <laughs> That's ridiculous. So he wants to photograph the paintings on the walls. Okay, so fish attack him. Okay, the camera was too expensive, it has no doublons left for spear gun. Okay, so we have to do a... Uh, okay, we have to protect him. That's a mission. Okay, let's go to the bottom. Now, what I recommend for this very mission is going in a corner. So that you see all four angles pretty easily. And you shoot them fishes. So we have a certain time to uh, to hold. You, you can shoot any type of eggs, it doesn't matter. So th watch out for fishes that are on the other side, you might not spot them as they appear. And that may be dangerous. Okay, I see we got two fishes there. So yeah, this mission shouldn't be hard as they, they have a pretty large hitbox. But... Oh, that was close. That was... A very close call, my friends. 
Okay, so he got all the shots he wanted. It's pretty good. And he, did, he, he didn't even spin around. He just faced the same way all the time. That's pretty funny. Yay! So, again, he magically found a thing earlier that I happen to want or need. See ya, Mr. Bacon. So that's a mission done. Let's get back in the Lost Atlantis, shall we? And, but first, let's get some eggs. Just to be stocked on, you know? Alright, so back in Atlantis, my friends. What can we do? What can we do? There's actually a lot you can do in here. This is an amazing touristic place, my friends. You can go in there. Which is a little place here? See, we sang town for you. So we're in the seaweed sanctum, my friends. There's a whole thing you can do, those seaweeds will attack you, there are some that will not, depends. Like this guy will attack you, not very hard to deal with though. And if you go on this column, you can shock spring to new heights. A new level for you. This guy is not attacking me. Everything is pacific over here. We don't want nature to interact with you badly. We don't want to have any problems in the aquatic lives. We want to respect the food chain. And thus, those seaweed will not cause any problem if you're a bear. But if you're not, be careful, as they might attack you and turn you down in pieces. Be careful, as you don't want that to happen. So we're in the same time, trying to climb it to new heights and not getting eaten by seaweed. Which is not a problem if you see what I'm doing. Just rolling around, rolling on the river, my friends. Rolling on the river. So there's a little door here. Can we do anything? Can we use that to gain new accesses around? Can we fetch the Jinjo in any way? Is it a Jinjo? All those. Whoa, five on six! We're very close to rescuing all the red family and having a prize. Let's go in there, without any waiting. Let's find out where we are. We are back at sea bottom. Sea bottom is an awesome place. It's truly awesome. And there's a little pad here. It's another section. Okay, so here, there's this fish here. I don't remember what he wants, but his teeth. Can we sell? Okay, it's like a wall, okay. So we want to shoot the teeth. So yeah, in this game we can do something to the teeth. So I think that's the giant fish you ate by pure mistake Jolly's partner? Could it be? 
Perhaps, maybe not, we never know. Perhaps, maybe, question mark. Oh, come on, stop wasting eggs around. Thank you. Eat me, Mr. Fish, now. I want to be eaten and end my life peacefully. Can that be done? Is that too much to ask? Let's go on that giant fish. Inside the big fish. There's an enemy for some reason. Also, this place is very well designed. So I can hear a Jinjo calling for help. Is he around here? Yay! Yay! That's a red Jinjo! Oh man! That makes me happy. And don't worry, we're gonna see that animation only once. I think. <laughs> And they give me their heirloom and I don't even have to fetch it. How's that magic? Video game logic. They hand me the jiggy without being there. They just magically teleport from here to their home. Why couldn't they be? Even when I didn't grab them? That's other question. The rescue party. Only if the price is right. Mary Maggie, partner of John Roger. Okay. So the fish indeed swallowed her. You'll be happy, Howard. Okay, so that that thing is ugly. <laughs> Apparently, jolly, jolly Roger will give me. Hey Jiggy, if I return to go see him. That was almost a sentence. Feathers. Oh, useful. Okay, so let's get out of that thing and next time we're gonna further explore this water part of the world and perhaps find more about the depths of the ocean and the lost Atlantis. And all that jolly f things. Also, perhaps we'll find a way to get this ring here. See y'all next time, guys.